Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. Today's video is a little bit ghetto. I don't have my regular filming equipment. I did capture a little bit of footage though, so I wanted to post it sooner rather than later. I'm sitting here at a supercharger. I am in Portage, Michigan, visiting with my parents here this weekend. I will be back tomorrow in Chicago and I will do a much more thorough review. Overall, I will say that beta still has the same issues it does on the highways based on my observations, at least testing it today. It still misses exits, unfortunately. It missed Stadium Drive exit, which I think is exit 36 off of I Interstate 131 going north, just north of I-94. Uh, so that was really unfortunate. Uh, it also does not get out of passing lanes from what I've observed. I did a little bit of testing. I'm going to test that a lot more tomorrow. And then the third issue, which you'll see in this video coming up here, getting onto highways, it still merges too slowly. It does not speed up. It should really detect other traffic and boost the speed limit much more quickly. I don't know what is up with that. It's really disappointing because you always have to inject additional speed every time you merge. That is unfortunate. On city streets, I haven't noticed any improvements or any regressions. I haven't tested it nearly enough. Uh, in the previous version, 11.3.2, Two and also 11.3.1, it would slow down inappropriately for traffic lights that did not apply to you. On the plus side with version 11, I think everybody's going to absolutely love this behavior. It does kind of rock back and forth in the lanes. It's really nice. That behavior feels so, so natural. It feels very human-like. I'm loving that. And it also gets away from other vehicles that may be coming into your lane a little bit. That is a beautiful behavior. Again, it feels really, really natural. And the other really nice thing that I love about this version is that it gets over very quickly. If you have a small distance where you need to turn and the GPS is telling you, okay, you need to get all the way over like three lanes of traffic, Beta actually does it now. It doesn't miss turns nearly as much on the city streets. So that's a big, big bonus. I have not witnessed it, just testing it here today. Tomorrow, I will be testing it much more thoroughly. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. And uh, here we are without further delay, today's video. Hey everybody, I'm back with another beta video. Today's video is going to be a little bit shaky. I have a really ghetto setup with the camera. I'm using my mobile phone here to record. I'm taking it over to the supercharger and we're gonna see how well beta 11.3.3 performs taking me there. Again, it's gonna be a little bit rocky. I apologize in advance for the poor quality, but I don't have any better setup right now. So hopefully this isn't too horrible for everybody. But um, it's gonna be a pretty straightforward drive. So I'm going down this road right now called Vincent Drive and then I'm gonna take it onto the highway. Let's turn off these lights, make it a little bit nicer. Uh, so far, first impressions. I've been driving it around a couple times here today in Portage, Michigan, and it's missed exits off of the highway. So that remains an issue. We're gonna see if the screen is still freezing. Seems to be a recurring issue where there, and I have not seen it happen, by the way, with this version yet, but I haven't tested it nearly enough to be able to come to any sort of conclusion. So here we are creeping. You can see that creep line. It just went right through there. Now it needs to get all the way over to the left. Okay, <laughs> it managed to do it. But a little bit strange behavior there. Getting over all the way, it needs to get onto the highway yet again here, okay? So if someone was behind me, they'd probably think I, I had been drinking. Okay, so it's a blinking yellow light here. Taking caution, it looks like it's almost gonna wait for that car and then decides to go. So a little bit strange there. So here we go onto the highway. Let's see here, it's 35 miles per hour speed limit. That's what it's locked in for. This is a merge, this remains an issue. It looks like it needs to speed up. There's no way you, you merge onto a highway going 40 miles an hour. So it should be able to recognize the speed of that vehicle. So there, now it just locks it in for 70, 70 miles an hour, and then it bumps it up to my offset, which is now a percentage with version 11. Version 11.3.3 .3 so far is showing me all of the same issues that I saw with the previous version. 
with the exception of the screen freezing up. But once again, I haven't tested it nearly enough to confirm that. On the side streets, in certain situations, it will misinterpret red lights and slow down. And I've, I've shown that in a couple of my other videos, but I haven't seen that happen here. I just haven't tested it enough to come to any conclusions there either. So unfortunately, we don't know what bug fixes were implemented with this version, just like all the other iterative minor releases, there's no information on what was fixed. So it's a guessing game. You kind of have to take it through areas that where it screwed up before to find out if it does it better. But overall, this feels identical to the previous version. So here we, we clearly have a red light and it's showing up on the screen as a blue a blue traffic light which means it's yielding it's recognizing them and it is seeing four of them there's two that are right overhead the camera's not picking up i can see it through the glass roof of my model three but the two right in front of us you can see so it's showing a person there now i do not i had no idea someone is behind us so i'm going to look and see sure enough yes yeah, someone's walking right behind us i did not know they were there so it's kind of cool when the car sees stuff that you didn't know was there. I always like that. Okay, green light moving forward here. Changing lanes to follow route. Okay, and slowing down for this red light. Here's a stop sign. It does not apply to us. And yes, it did not stop for that. That was really great. I love that. So that was slanted quite a bit, kind of facing us, yet it ignored it completely. So that is beautiful. That's exactly what it should have done. Coming through here, let's see if it can make it all the way over to the supercharger. Coming through this parking lot. Jerky movement on the steering wheel there. Left turn signal turns on to go around here. See if it can make it all the way through. Okay, and then it needs to go right here. Come on, you can do it. No, it just missed the supercharger. So it's saying, let's see. Okay, now it's turning on the left turn signal. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take over. should have known that it's there over there so let's just take a look so yeah it didn't actually have us routing it over there so that's fine I'm gonna give that that one a pass I'm not gonna say that that was a mistake it really needs to put the path over here to get us all the way over to the supercharger all right we've got another person here Let's back into the supercharger. One thing you'll you'll notice when you're stopping in a supercharger is you need to go all the way back, really far back, because otherwise you stretch the cord too much. So didn't really show us too much, but at least you could see getting on the highway. It still doesn't merge quickly enough. Earlier today, I did notice that it misses exits. So those are two issues still on the highway. The third issue, I haven't tested enough to confirm whether it's still an issue, but it camps out in the passing lane. And I did experiment with that coming here to Michigan yesterday. And that was uh, with the different assertive. There's, there's the assertive if I put it into drive here. 
if, if I push on the right scroll wheel and go left, you can see it's chill, average, assertive. I did play around with that a little bit. And if you move it into average, it still camps out in the passing lane. If you move it over to chill, it tends to kind of get over a little bit more. And it, the message will show up. It says get, moving, changing lanes out of passing lane. So it does appear that chill allows it to kind of move over, but n normal or average and assertive still kind of camp the, the passing lane. And it's really unfortunate. So if you go into the menu here in the autopilot menu, it says here assertive. In this profile, your Model 3 will have a smaller fellow distance and perform more frequent speed lane changes. But that has no indication. There's no other description of how it gets out of the passing lanes. So we'll go into the average. This profile your Model 3 will have a medium follow distance, just talking about fo follow distances, and then fewer lane changes. So really not any information about uh, getting out of the passing lane. Uh, and then they do have the minimal lane changes. I always have that off, so that should allow it to, to change lanes. If we just push on the info icon here, it says, when enabled full self-driving beta will limit lane changes only to follow navigation route, route or when required for safety. This option gets reset when the car is parked at the end of a drive. Not much information there about getting out of the passing lane either. So two issues still exist on the highway. I will confirm tomorrow whether or not it, uh, it, it does fix the getting out of the passing lane. And then the last thing is the city streets. A lot of the times it will uh, slow down for traffic lights that don't exist. Uh, I do like the new behavior with version 11, how it gets over really quickly when you have a small distance to make turns. And I believe that's still going to be the case here. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of big differences with this version. I'm eager to find out from other people what their experience is as well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.